days ago, I started my Yokai Watch Nuzlocke. I chose my gender and went on my way. I then rushed through the first part of the game. They were talking about bugs, I think? Anyways, apparently, this was enough to give my character an inferiority complex and return home. I grabbed the bug net and let me make something straight. I hate bugs in this game. I don't know why, I just don't like the mechanic for the game. Luckily, this is the only part in the game where this is required, so I sped through it. Apparently, none of these were the bugs that I wanted, so I went to go speak to the janitor, who apparently knows quite a lot about bugs. He told me you could find many rare bugs on Mount Wildwood, and then he gave me his sticky syrup. Hey yo, what the f After catching bugs for a while, hopefully we can finally get our yokai. Yay, more bugs to catch! Yay guys, come on, let's go, go, go! Minute, is that a pokeball? I don't think you're supposed to open it like that. Oh, never mind, it's broken now. The ghost told me his name was Whisper and that he was a yokai. Finally, we obtained the yokai watch and found out there's a yokai nearby. Apparently, we woke it up, so it wanted revenge. Whisper told us to bring out one of our yokai friends, but of course, we don't have any. What could it be? One of the cicadas! So, apparently, the glowing cicada was actually a yokai who merely disguised himself as a cicada. After that, we became friends, and I called him Arcade. Oh yeah, Boohoo wanted to fight, so we beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. We apologise to Boohoo, and then Boohoo decides to become friends with us. I decide to call Boohoo, Braha, and head off home. As soon as I got home, I realised my parents were fighting, but something was wrong. Apparently there was a yokai inspiriting them. Dismeralda refused to leave, so Caden came in to try and help. Sadly, he wasn't enough on his own, so we had to collect more yokai. We ran out of there as soon as possible, and then Whisper gave me three plump rice balls to make sure that we can catch yokai. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I never actually explained what a yokai watch nuzlocke is all about. So first things first, I can only catch one yokai per area. This does mean that I can encounter multiple yokai in an area due to how the game works. If a yokai faints, it's dead. No revival items like bitter medicine. I must name any yokai I befriend and I cannot befriend the same yokai twice. There was a yokai nearby named Lidoni. I swiftly defeated and befriended Lidoni. I then went to the nearest Ipo to restore my health and soul meter. After that, I encountered a Dolama and two Kof Kofs. I decided to try and befriend one of the Kof Kofs, and I was successful. I called it coughing, and that surely isn't a reference to anything. Sadly, at this point, my footage, for some reason, cut out for a bit, but I'll catch you up to speed on what happened. So basically, I befriended a Negatibuzz and I called it Obanai. Apparently, Whisper sensed a powerful yokai over by the fish shop. Of course, this yokai was Jabanyan, who obviously got straight into a car car. <laughs> After recovering, Jibanyan tells us about a photo that was stolen by another yokai called Ruff Raff. So we beat some sense into it. Finally, after defeating Ruff Raff, my display fixed and we took back the photo. Wait a minute, I had 20 pounds in my wallet a second ago. Looks like he didn't just steal the photo. <sighs> Anyways, we went back to Jibanyan and gave him the photo. After getting Jibanyan's photo back, he thought it would be a good idea if we became friends. And then I called him El Gato! <clears throat> After all that, I think it's finally time that we head home to try and defeat Desmeralda once and for all. Come on out, my friend! Calling Jibanyan! Yokai Metal, do your thing! Summoning Charming! Charming! Gotta love the song. Yeah. Oh. 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 
Make sure the ceiling's higher next time you call me. That's right, I'm gonna do something unprecedented. I'm gonna show you the battle. Now then, let's fight Dismeralda. Come on, Arcade, you can finish them off on your own. Go for it. Cicada, cut! No, impossible. Arcade Cicada Cut is supposed to be able to slice anything. Dang it, my entire front row is now inspirited. I think I've got to flip it over. Yes, I've finally done it. I've purified all my attackers. Now, Jabanyan, go for it. No, it still isn't enough. Huh? What's this? Go oh, right then. Go, Arcade. Do it! Yes! We did it! It's finally over! Yes! Finally, after all of that, we have defeated Dismeralda. And then her boyfriend? French guy who's in love with her comes in and is like, Ah ha ha, where have you been, my love? I have truly missed you. And anyways, <laughs> after that, uh, Dismeralda gives us her medal. And that's about it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. By the way, I'm probably streaming on Twitch right now. So, go check it out, please. Okay, what's next on the script here? Oh, uh, insert ending here. Wait a minute, how do you kill a yokai anyway?